The Josh Taylor vs. Jack Catterall fight from 2022 was one of controversy and curiosity. Many boxing fans thought a robbery had occurred. The underdog Catterall had been cheated of his goal of a lifetime, of being undisputed champion, along with the financial rewards that entails. Boxing personalities, including the promoter of the event expressed their anger and disgust of the decision. Uh, to be honest, Adam, I'm actually embarrassed um, tonight because I'm promoting this event and um, I couldn't see how 114-111 from two of, the two of the judges or one of the judges. One of the judges for Josh Taylor, yeah. It's, it's, it's embarrassing and that's not... Uh, I love this sport, that's why I got into it and we try to keep our integrity and we try to keep everything um, you know, it's true to the sport that we love, but tonight is, is really difficult. But was it really such a robbery? After all, scoring a boxing contest is about subjective opinions and preferences. As we delve into how users of Fight Night scores collectively score the contest, we'll see how it can be deemed a close fight. But one curiosity we can also see is the judges scoring. For a fight so close cut, where rounds could have gone either way, the judges were strangely consistent and in sync with their scores. Looking at the average scorecard for the contest over at FightScore.com, comprised of collated scorecard data from over two dozen registered members and guest users, we can see a close contest. Indeed, averaged out across all users, round by round, the average scorecard shows a dead-even fight, with fans giving the boxers six rounds each and total scores of 113 to 113. The most interesting aspect to this, though, is how the judges scored, not just in comparison to one another but also compared to the fans' average in each round. Scrolling through the scorecard again we can see that the judges were unanimous in their scores in 10 out of the 12 rounds. Both the judges' average score and the fans' average score were the same for all but one round. This combined tells a tale of a razor-tight fight which could have gone either way, rather than the supposed robbery as deemed by many fight fans and boxing people ringside.